Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Faiz Alam, working as a functional consultant at BISP. BISP is a tech company providing technological solutions across the world. In today's session, uh, we will be going through the concept of fixed assets uh, and uh, I'll be telling you how these fixed assets uh, do have their impact on the financial statements of the organization. First, we will get to know what are the fixed assets. So an asset is a resource of property that has a monetary or I would say the economic value that is acquired by an individual or an entity uh, in order to produce some future economic benefits or I would say uh, for generating the future incomes for the organization. There are various types of assets uh, that the companies are using, uh, like uh, they are uh, depending upon the convertibility, physical existence and usage of the assets. So first, uh, our uh, today's concern is fixed assets. So fixed assets are the items that a company plans to use over the long uh, term to help uh, in generating the income. Uh, fixed assets occupy a very significant uh, place uh, uh, because it helps in the evaluation of the financial position of the company. Uh, these are commonly referred to as property, plant and equipment. Fixed assets are usually the long term, I would say the long term assets uh, as it is used in the company for a longer period of time. Uh, like uh, its examples can be seen in the property, plant and equipment. Uh, fixed assets are not uh, sold or I would say it cannot be converted into cash, uh, but it is used in the organization for generating the future income, uh, future revenue, I would say. These are the very crucial part of the company as uh, apart from uh, generating income for the, I would say, or revenue uh, for the organization, it uh, uh, provides help for the investors when they are about to decide whether they have to invest in the organization or not. Like uh, 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 take an example like fixed asset turnover ratio is uh, used to uh, determine the efficiency of fixed assets in generating sales. So fixed assets uh, are subject to depreciation to the account uh, for the loss in the value as the assets are used in the organization. Uh, moving ahead, we will get to know about the types of assets. Uh, uh, assets can be classified uh, according to the convertibility, physical existence and its usage. First, we will take the convertibility type of asset under which uh, two categories are found. Like first one is the current assets. Current assets, uh, I would say, are the assets that can be converted into cash or cash equivalents like uh, the, its, its first example can be uh, cash or anything that is that are equivalent to cash, accounts receivables and all. Next, we have the fixed assets. Under the fixed assets, uh, we would pay fixed assets are, I have told you, the long-term assets that are used by the company for generating the future income, land, building, uh, machinery, furniture are the examples of it. If I talk about the physical existing type of asset, uh, like uh, 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 those assets are falling under this category, uh, which uh, uh, two get two types, uh, it can be divided into two types. And the first is tangible then, and the other is intangible. So tangible assets are the assets I would say that can be seen, touched or felt. Like uh, we can take an example of cash, uh, land, building, uh, machinery, furniture, so these all can be touched and felt. Uh, so our next uh, type is intangible assets. So intangible assets are the assets that cannot be touched or peeled. I would say these are the abstract uh, uh, kind of assets. Like uh, they are there in the organization, but they cannot be seen or touched. Uh, it's example uh, are like uh, goodwill, patents, copyrights, trademarks and all. Our next uh, type is uh, according to the usage. Uh, if I talk about the usage of the assets, so another uh, categories are uh, operating assets and the non-operating assets. So operating assets are the assets that are used in the business for day-to-day -day operation uh, for the same purpose, like generating incomes. Uh, its examples can be accounts receivable, cash and all. The non-operating expenses, I would say, these uh, non-operating assets, sorry, 
the non operating assets are uh, i would say do not uh, used in the organization for day to day operation but still it helps in generating the income for the and revenue for the organization its example can be seen in the marketable securities and short term investments so this is how the assets can be classified in the classification of this asset these uh, assets is important to, uh, because you know it helps in the evaluation of the company's profitability uh, our next concern is which is an important concern like impact of fixed assets on the financial statements uh, where would be uh, how can we have the impact of fixed assets on our financial statements uh, the financial statements that are the backbones of any organization like income statement balance sheet and cash flow statements so here also we would be having the impact of fixed asset the fixed asset directly impacts all these financial statements so uh, i would say in the balancing it has the balancing effect on the financial statement due to the difference between the capital expenditure and depreciation for that period for or any particular period if i talk about the income statement uh, under the income statement the fixed asset impact can be seen in the form of depreciation i mean it is recorded uh, is a depreciation under the income statement and uh, this uh, is uh, resulting in the decrease in the net profit after taxes as it is recorded in the section of depreciation if i go down to the cash flow statement here Uh, the impact of fixed asset can be seen in the form of capital expenditure i would say capital expenditure can be defined as an expense that is incurred in the organization in order to maintain or uh, uh, in order to maintain the uh, i would say the value of that asset or uh, for uh, any upgrades or uh, acquiring the uh, for any upgrades or maintenance of the assets so here we can see the under the cash flow statement it is recorded as a capital expenditure so under the capital uh, cash flow statement it is recorded as a capital expenditure which is also known as capex the next uh, financial statement we would be having is the balance sheet uh, under the balance sheet fixed assets are recorded under the non current assets uh, like uh, we can have a separate uh, account for uh furniture for land for building and uh, we can have the closing we can have the effect of these fixed assets in the form of closing balance under the balance sheet so this is how the fixed assets uh, actually uh, do uh, have their impact on the financial statements of the organization So this is all about the fixed assets and the impact of fixed assets. In case of any questions and queries or consultations, uh, you can write to us at www. bispsolutions. com. Thank you.